Now that we have iPhones and iPads, we need lots of cool photo apps. And Aviary has a really neat developer toolkit that is going to blow your mind. We're going to see it right now. Who are you? Uh, my name is Iz Durdick. I'm the CTO and co-founder of Aviary.com. Um, I met uh, CEO Avi Muchnik uh, around 10 years ago and we shared a passion for photography and tech. We put together this little business and now we're, uh, we're going strong with Aviary. What is it that you guys do, first of all? Um, so uh, we build an SDK that developers can build into their mobile apps, iOS uh, for iPhone and iPad, iPad, iPod Touch, as well as Android. And that allows them to embed a photo editor directly inside their app within the workflow of taking photos, people can now edit them as well. Give me a little tour around the toolbar that you can add in. And this is a, a developer toolkit that somebody, like a pick please, can embed inside their app. Yeah. What, tell me some of the tools that, some of the things that uh, an end user could do once your tool gets added to their, uh, to their app. Sure, we have uh, a ton of effects that people can apply, kind of uh, like uh, vintage effects or uh, negative effects. Um, we also have color manipulation. You can add stickers, text, um, different, uh, uh, different colors and um, contrast, brightness and, and things like that. Cropping images. Exactly, cropping images as well. And you have lots of fun filters that do all sorts of different shadings or different looks to the photo. Yeah, they can make them look brighter. We actually have an autocorrect filter as well that will just take the picture and make it better no matter what the picture is. Sharper? Sharper automatic color correction. So if it's uh, overblown white, it'll adjust the histogram so that it actually matches what you were expecting it to be. This is a really interesting time in history because we're everybody's getting these new 8 megapixel cameras on their new uh, iPhone 4S's. Mm -hmm. What does that mean for a company like you? What's the market opportunity like? I mean, it means the market opportunity is huge. The, the, the um, phone is a ubiquitous part of every uh, person's life. They have cameras on them, and now that um, people have cameras in their pockets, they're t taking tons and tons of photos. So this allows us to help them make their photos even better. When, when I first saw you guys, you made a destination site, a, a site where you can come and edit your photography. Mm -hmm. Why did you move away from that model to being an arms dealer, basically, <laughs> for, the, uh, for the photography industry? So our old model was really, um, we were a destination site for desktop-like tools. And it was great, they were really good tools, uh, but they appealed to a kind of a niche community of people who didn't want to pay for Photoshop, uh, but they were a little too complicated for everyday users. So we decided to go to, for a more simple approach and um, go to where the photos actually are. And inserting ourselves into the workflows of people taking photos has been really huge for us to date. Yeah. Um, tell me a, a little bit about how a developer puts this into their app. Do they pay for it? And then how, what's the code like? to insert your tool set into a photo sharing app of some kind? So uh, on the mobile side of things, it's really, really easy. There's no cost for the tools at all. All they have to do is download the SDK, which is a, a library in iOS, in iOS and both Android and iOS's uh, situations. They're a library that they can statically link inside their code, change a couple of config settings in their app, and deploy to the App Store. That's all there is to it. You told me developers can include it in about 15 minutes, right? Yeah, it's just a, a few lines of code call the editor, it pops up, and handle the, the saving of the photo, and that's it. Very cool. Uh, and it's a, free, it's a free service for a developer to build this into their own app? That's correct. And so how do you guys make any money here? Well, uh, we, I know you're a business, you're not a charity. Right? Well, that's true. Um, we offer photos, uh, we, I'm sorry, we offer uh, premium effects that we want people to be able to actually build their own filters and uh, using ingredients like stickers and fonts that they can purchase through the apps. So they'll purchase those from us and then be able to use them in any of our partner apps as well. So uh, end user probably, is, uh, these packs are going to be like a dollar or something like yeah, that? Yeah, something reasonable, less than a latte. Okay, <laughs> less than a latte was yeah. awesome. And then you will share the revenues with the, the uh, like an Instagram or a pick please kind of thing? Exactly, right. So the person who, uh, the partner app that generated the sale, we'll get a percentage of that sale. Very cool. Can you give me a sense of what kinds of apps your toolkit's being used in? Sure. Um, there's a, 
a popular app uh, that does collages, photo collages. So you, you can uh, upload a photo to the app itself, manipulate it, double click it to pop up our editor, change it any way you want, and then add that photo to the, to the collage. There are other apps like um, fashion apps that let people comment about uh, different items of apparel. And uh, you can edit photos that you update. Uh, social sharing photo apps that allow you to edit the photos before you share them, things like that. And that shows sort of what's happening now. It's not that one app is going to own your camera, like an Instagram or something like that. You're going to have apps for like little specialized things like food spotting, right? Or uh, like this, this fashion app. You're at a fashion show, you're going to use a specific app to take a picture. You're not going to um, just use a general app anymore. The, Do you see that, there, that there's going to be an explosion of these kinds of apps? Oh, absolutely. I mean, we're trying to democratize the editing space. So any app, um, the app is, to, our SDK is totally customizable so that if you are, let's say, a fashion app, you can change the stickers to be fashion related. You don't have to use the stickers we provide. Um, you can also provide, uh, you can also change the tools that are available. So if a fashion app would need, um, let's say, color correction more than uh, text bubbles, then you can have color correction tool and hide the tools that don't apply. That's very cool. You're for iPhone and Android. What about tablets? Um, well, we just released our iPad SDK this week, and we're seeing a ton of uptake. People are really, really happy with it, and uh, we're just going to keep innovating on that. Now, are these effects done server side or are they done client side? Because on the iPad, I'm probably looking at photos I uploaded with my with my iPhone or my Android phone. Mm -hmm. um, are you are you able to do these things server side as well, or or does the developer have a choice? That's a good question. Um, we currently are doing it on the client side, but we have a server side API that our client side tools can talk to to process super high res images and things like that. So we do have a server side component to it. Very right, cool. So you're a full shot, full st one stop shop for all sorts of photography gadgets. Exactly. How are you, uh, just a little bit about your company, how are you funded and what, what's the state of your business? Because you've been around a couple of years now. We've been around a couple of years. We um, closed our last round that was Series B with Spark Capital, uh, I believe it was two years ago now. And um, we're looking forward to monetization coming soon. Very cool. Where do we learn more about your company? You can check us out at www.aviary.com. That's A-V-I-A-R-Y.com. Or you can reach out to me at is, that's I-Z, at aviary.com. Or hit me on Twitter at I-Z. Very cool. Well, thank you so much for showing it to me. It's a really great uh, toolkit, and I hope to see you on lots of apps soon. Thank you very much. I appreciate you taking the time.